Hey, it's cold outside, it's windy outside, and one thing that's helped to comfort me is a nice big bowl of pho. So today, we're gonna go for it, right? So one for the money, two for the show. So here we go. I have two pounds of pork neck. You can use beef, you can use chicken, right? Basically, you want to make a good, nice stock out of it. Now come over here. Let's show you that in here, I have um, a, a whole onion that I roasted. I have some ginger. There's garlic. I have a clove of garlic that I put in here. A whole carrot. Some uh, celery. I'm just gonna use them for basically for the flavor. So here goes the bones. Two, about one and a half tablespoons of fish sauce. You get that funk, you get that flavor. But to counter that salt out, I'm gonna put in some palm sugar. That way when it cooks down, it's not gonna get too salty. And then here, right, it's all the, the spice that I have roasted. Peppers, cardamom, cinnamon, star anise, and some cloves. So you're gonna add that floral flavor as you are cooking into the stock. Okay, then two gallons of water. You wanna cover the bone. So that way it cooks down. And I'm gonna cook this in a pressure cooker for about, it should take about an hour, and I would have all of the flavors out of the meat and all of the vegetables all melted together. The other thing that if you don't have a pressure cooker, you definitely put this in a slow cooker cook this for about six hours and it's gonna extract all that flavors out right or you're gonna simmer it for at least four hours to kind of get all those flavors working together okay so then now as you look into the pot right the liquid is nice and, and clear I have all everything that I need um, I'm going to give it a little taste to see if I add, need to add more seasoning to it. Like maybe some more like some salt to kind of deepen it up a bit. But I'm going to ladle out a little broth of what I need. And then I'm going to finish it up on the stove here. I'm going to strain the rest. So that that way I can sit the, the stock for another, uh, for another day. So now that I have got some meatballs in here. Vietnamese style meatball because it has tendon and stuff in it. I put a little bit of thinly sliced beef in here as well. Just barely cook it because I don't want to cook it all the way through. I'm going to use fresh noodle, the pho noodle. You could buy dry. If you're going to use the dry one, then you're going to have to soak it. But the fresh one, you know, it's vacuum sealed. I can save it in the, in the freezer and I can thaw it out when I need to. And it takes very little to cook on with the hot broth. About 30 seconds. Pause to serve. I have basil. I, I have basil. If you can get Thai basil, that's even better. But since I live out in the suburb, right, Italian sweet basil is going to have to do. Bean sprouts, some jalapenos, and a little wedge of lime. In the soup, it's gonna go into the nice big bowl. Nice and hearty. Jalapeno. And some Basil. Basil. Sriracha. Sriracha. More hot Hoisin sauce. And squeeze lime. It's going to brighten everything up. So I hope you give it a try. Right? I find it very comforting, hearty, right? And soul filling. So slurp up. Slurp, slurp.
all good.